luxury trio due west in the studio. See a different side to Neil McCoy, the published author, when he joins us. Plus exclusive GAC specials from Reba to Kenny Chesney. It all starts now. trio behind songs I get that all the time, Bible in the Belt, and their latest at radio called When the Smoke Clears, all found on their new CD, Forget the Miles. Welcome to the studio, Tim Gates, Brian Hall, Matt Lopez, otherwise known as Due West. Nice to finally have you guys yeah, here in the there. studio. You know, some of the most unbelievable harmony vocals, and for you guys, this wasn't planned initially when you came to Nashville. Like many people, you guys got together here in town. We all moved here separately, and then we ended up meeting together at a party, and mm -hmm. the rest is history. Back for the first few years, we just got together on weekends and did it for fun. It was just uh, kind of a, a hobby. We were still just trying to write songs and get our names out that way, but it just enough people, after a certain time, enough people just kept saying, you guys, harmonies just, you know, are really great together. So we finally came up with the name. Off to the races we were. So it wasn't an overnight thing, but finally we have this album to talk about. And I have to talk about the title, Forget the Miles, comes from the song, 22 Hours a Day, which so many artists that come here talk about this. 22 hours a day that you're working, but really two hours a play. You really get paid for the travel, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> we, we just spend so much time doing, you know, from the very beginning of the day, you know, waking up and doing maybe radio or whatever, and just goes on maybe we're writing in the afternoon or maybe you know who, who knows what we're doing and then we end up playing in the evening and that's the payoff that's those, payoff. those last two hours like like the song says when the lights go down and we hit the first chord that's where you know that's where it becomes worth it for sure well there was a through our facebook club gac's facebook page there's a girl jessica Loy that wrote in and actually asked do you guys still get stage fright you know you've been doing this does, does the fright change though to more like anxiety after so many years no, I don't get stage fright at all. No, I think it depends on the venue, like on the on the show. If it's for fans, no, it's, not at all. It's it's exciting. Yeah. Um, when we start singing in front of industry folks like yourself and other people, well, because everybody's sitting there like this, right? Exactly. With their yeah, arms you crossed. sit in the room with one guy, yeah, and he's staring at you. And you gotta, you gotta nail it. You feel a little nervous. I'll yeah. tell you what I get most nervous is when we sing the national anthem because it's such a reverent kind of a thing, you know. And it's usually hard to sing in that kind of environment, right? That yeah. arena where it's that they call that slap back or something that yeah, you can't right. really. And nobody ever messes that up. So, you know, it's kind of like it sets the bar. Nobody ever messes up the national anthem. You, you can't, if you YouTube right now, you won't see anybody that's ever messed up the national anthem. <laughs> anyway, for you guys with this album, Forget the Miles, we have a new single to talk about. And boy, oh boy, is this good. Where you hear this song when the smoke clears and you're telling this guy, do not do it. Do not make believe, put the ring back on. But an emotional song. Very Tell emotional right song. Now. The first, well, the first time we heard this song, Matt played it for us. We were playing a gig at the Alabama Grill in Nashville. He brought it to us and played it, and you couldn't hear a pin drop. You could hear a pin drop in the room. Everybody was just so quiet, and the song just blew everybody away. We've been doing it ever since. It's finally, finally, finally have a single. Well, as a, as a songwriter, I wrote it with a good friend of mine, Don Rollins, and as a songwriter, to hear Tim Gates sing your song back to you the way that it's that it was supposed to be sung. That, from that point on, we've been doing it because, uh, like I said, I played it for these guys, you know, however year, many years ago that was, and he learned it. And the first time he sang it back, and I jumped, you know, we jumped in on the harmony. It was just like goosebumps. Mm. And uh, like he said, promised he'd hold it, but let's, let us keep it. Yeah, pitch it in the Well, it is good. Let's take a look at it. Here it is, due west, and when the smoke clears. He blocked me.
new song and video, of course, the song at Radio Now when the smoke clears. You'll find it on Due West, debut CD, Forget the Miles. And Matt, interesting point, you're talking about writing the song. Individually, all of you had a hand in writing this album. You've been songwriters, you've had outside cuts. How do you know when to keep them for the band and go, hey, let's give this to so-and-so? I think we work all, uh, any, any song that we kind of come across that is something that we like, we work it up. And if it, and if it you know, fits, it's pretty obvious to all three of us. But I don't think there's ever been an occasion where we've said, don't pitch this to anyone else. We all know the business well enough to know that if any of us get a cut on Keith Urban or Lady Annabellum, it's going to change our worlds anyways. And so it'll do nothing but help us. Sarah Buston's a prime example of that with her Stupid Boy song. You know, it's like that didn't hurt her career to all of a sudden have Keith Urban having, you know, recorded her song. So we just kind of you know, work them up, and if it fits and no one else cuts it, then we go for it. Just great songs. Congratulations. Production to lyric content, as I mentioned, the harmony vocals. Country music made a man out of me. How many songs do you pay tribute to? I was trying to count, and I couldn't get all the titles the, in it. The total is 21. Really? 21, 21 titles. And we're talking about classic, you know, uh, no, no Stranger to the Rain, yeah, I Saw the Light. Right. I mean, it's all in there. And, and if, if that becomes a classic, then it'll be 22. But <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Congratulations again. We're going to see you guys on the road throughout the uh, year. Yes, oh, yeah, Sorry? absolutely. Always on the road, right? Yeah, yes. absolutely. Oh. Website to go to? Duest.com. And I love that I think these are the only band that actually had their Facebook page in the artwork <laughs> of their album. Love that. Do us, everybody. We'll stick around more on the streets when we come back. Stay with us.